So have you guys start practicing and all? No answer. Nobody is practicing. Yes sir. Yes sir. Okay, see. I just double the size because this is right very really small. Control N and drag it again. That's a tool. The symmetry is on, so it's going to get selected automatically. And then I have to smooth this selection. Con press control, like control. Click, like few times. So this becomes the selection becomes smooth. Then control, click once again, invert the selection. Zoom, uh, then control, click again. It makes this selection really smooth. So now, uh, suppose uh, now I want to move these hands down. So, <coughs> like uh, for this, I cannot use move tool. I have to use gizmo. So how to use that? Press Alt. Click on this. You can see this corner part and move it uh, to the joint like uh, we, are, we are supposed to because this entire arm going to move from the from the shoulder joint from that from that bone it going to move so we're supposed to align it there and side view alt and drag the center so like you have like in rigging you have bones and all these things so and you based on the bones you can move so right now this there's a bone and uh, based on that this will move this entire arm so if you move it slightly so if you move it slightly you can see it basically collapses in your body that is some that is fine that is not not a problem rest will fix later this all these things will fix later <coughs> then this part Q, control, selection. So posing in ZBrush is very easy. It's not very difficult. Like uh, if you don't have, uh, like, uh, don't understand uh, skinning also. Uh, uh, rigging skinning doesn't matter. Soften it out. W, Alt, drag in the center, like bone area, like from this area, from where it's going to bend. Now Alt, reset, down, and from side view, and rotate slightly. Because whenever you you can see yourself, whenever you keep your hand relaxed downside, it's slightly rotated. All these dents and all will fix later once we pose it properly. Slightly odd. Just let me check one more reference. Okay. This works for me. So you can see. Like now this posture is way better like previously uh, it was like a straight almost uh, a pose and this is this is the a pose so this is now way better now i can like uh, refer to my uh, reference very easily and based on that i can create my entire muscle structure and if you see if there's any issue anything i can fix that very easily
now it feel this volume I need to add more volume here BCB so either like BCB if you add this it becomes those boxes suppose you don't like this box you can just simply turn it off so it will give you a smooth volume Now let me check it from the back and this back volume I feel this is kind of little bit flat I need to add more volume make it a little bit more rounded in shape and there is a slight like cavity so to enhance that cavity to add this volume Side. Uh, this waist is not this thin so if I check the reference because if I have a front pose you can see it's not that thin it's a little bit wider as compared to the uh, my character so what I'll do I'll try to match that BMB move slightly widened up slightly widened up then this ribs rib cage they have decent amount of uh, like volume it's all about volumes only like if you understand the volumes and uh, and able to replicate that it becomes very easy This forearm part basic structural wise is done but uh, it's not detailed and this now will come to our fingers so in my character if you see this character fingers are quite elongated plus you have nails our lanes are quite uh, long so and uh, like whenever you create a character so it's always recommend recommended uh, try to create each and everything in a separate sub tool so that you can control it in a better way so nails in will be in a separate sub tool then all these small small elements props those uh, bands straps everything will be a separate sub tool so you can control it very easily and it will give you basically basically, basically gives you more control over it so don't try to uh, like uh, like uh, create everything in the same mesh Okay, so 
hand so hand some basic volume let's add all these knuckles we have to make sure you have to landmark all this knuckle uh, the bone area and this character fingers are a little bit bony in nature so define those bones control shift only the hands so that i can like uh, focus on my hands only to find your knuckles And like for hands, if I show you the reference, uh, that where is my book? Like for everything, I'm referring that book only for uh, anatomy and uh, your basic structure. Yeah, I can see the hand structure. You have all these bones here, then all these muscles. This is like uh, inside area, side pose, back side. You can see this knuckles are outside, it's quite prominently visible. These are bone, there is skin, and muscles wrapped wrapped around this area. And there is a cavity which is filled with uh, muscles. So all the, you have to follow all this thing <coughs> and create your structure you can see this bone structure and easy is like uh, like to whenever you're sculpting anything if you uh, like uh, suppose you have a reference and uh, try to match the angle according to your reference and then sculpt it so it becomes very easy to match the shape all these knuckles there is a muscle going on and connects here together and there is a band under this band and which is like prominently visible in this particular case there is a cavity
and this particular knuckles I can see in this character those are very prominent and prominently visible <coughs> so what I'll do I'll add some volume to overall the finger and mark my knuckles And this, uh, this is like this ratio, uh, like this portion, uh, this uh, this this size scale. Suppose this is one, this will be 1.6, and if this is one, this will be 1.6. This is this is like golden ratio. I guess you must have read it, like a Fibonacci ratio. It works according to that. In nature, all the proportion, all the scale, everything works according to that only. PDS dam standard so I'll add some crease some lines so usually for these areas we have a line and which is quite prominent And this line will be exactly opposite to this knuckle. Mistake. continues to the sides extend it so that it's visible from the side this side also Add, now uh, start adding volume and make it more prominent
and all those islands exactly behind this here there is no bone and this character is a little bit like a skin like a skinny uh, like a fingers are skinny so add that cavity smooth out and light intensity Move over inside also. Like had now my hands fingers are a little bit more structured, and from distance you can see all the knuckles and everything, and it's like more a little bit more prominent but uh, those uh, nails are missing so what i'll do for this nails i just simply append a sphere this is something what i prefer Resize it. Squeeze. Still quite thick. It's quite long move tool so i can see uh, nails are a little bit bended from the center like this narrow and slightly wider in the base That is something I can do it later also, like after like adding this to my finger. So what I'll do, I'll go to go back to my main body, control shift, isolate my hands, nail, <coughs> W. Sir, how we are isolating? Control shift. Oh, okay. Control shift. Click it. Oh, sorry, my mistake. Control shift. Click outside. Okay. Now isolating or control plus shift. Now if we drag, you can see this green mask. This green mask is for isolating that particular section. If you uh, uh, like, then click it outside with control and shift. Control plus shift plus click. Left mouse button. If you press only control, it will mask. Right. If you press only shift, it will smooth. So that's how. Like control plus shift, then select the hand. It will isolate only the hand. 
I can select this and use it. Right? Clear? Yes, sir. Okay. So now I'll quickly fix this on my fingers. align it properly so once like you uh, once you're done with this and make sure this alignment it should be straight yeah, you can see slightly off it's not in the center then control shift so the control and all together and just drag so it will duplicate that and you have another piece rotate place it align it properly from uh, bottom view align and plus slightly resize slight just slightly because all the fingers uh, are like different size plus all the nails are of different size control all together move it align it with the finger scale it down slightly Place it nicely. So right now there is no detail, nothing is there. It's just a placing it here, just for the landmark. it nicely align it properly and say it's not correct so roughly my nails are pleased <coughs> then for and I have pleased my nails and according to my nails I have to fix my hand for this kind of huge nails, uh, it should have uh, like uh, this uh, nail area should be prominent. That is something I need to make. I'll fix it now. B C B. Clay builder once again. Should use a brush size around the, like this. This will go on inside. And this will come outside slightly. Okay. 
Move tool and reduce the base slightly. Make it little bit narrow. Huh? This looks way better than this. And this doesn't have like enough polygons. So control D. Subdivide Should test, let me check. Now it's smooth. It should look like like it's coming from that uh, in from inside that finger. So I'll just like isolate that section so it becomes easy for me to control and system also become light. So you have to spend quite a bit of because characters will take a lot of time to finish so you have to spend quite a bit of time to finish each and every part nicely And this nail doesn't look nice, so what I'll do is oh save huh? today I didn't save. Save your file quickly, crush, auto masking, back this well I'll switch off, switch on. So because I'm going to use it here. Make it thin. So I'll just simply uh, create this uh, nail and delete this and replace all the nails with this one. This looks way better than as compared to these are like your flower petal or what something. Select your body. 
वो बस लोअर डिवीजन नाउ दे आर फ्यू स्ट्रक्चरल शेप लाइक आफ्टर रोटेटिंग फ्यू शेप्स आई हैव टू फिक्स so <clears throat> so i'll just uh, i quickly add few accessories or something so just to make it look okay it's the kind of uh, we're doing something to get that feel and this structure is not correct to fix it also oh, my mistake pcb Add all these volumes. And this should go slightly inside. Like sometimes I'm adding uh, this thing using this minus. Sometimes I'm adding using this in plus to get the shape correct. required okay so in my reference i can see this uh, this cloth this strap is going around this his uh, its neck like so what i can do to create this very easy you can see there's a, already a brush is there curved strap brush usually uh, this brush is used most of time to create all this belt or things wrap around your uh, like body hands all those things to create those things so i'll use this brush and switch off your symmetry because it's not symmetrical reduce the brush size and make sure whenever you going to draw it you don't have any subdivision level otherwise it won't work i'll start from 
from the hip layering i can do later i'll just draw and like you can see i just clicked draw this thing then but i now i want to continue this thing so what i go i'll go near to this whenever you can see this red linking this it's connect to that part click there keep drawing so it will continue red and you can see it snaps perfectly to the surface and overlaps and all these gaps we can like later we can fix easily and make sure whenever creating something like this oh my mistake linking i'll push it inside so those layering keep in mind and if you click on this line it will change so make sure change the angle where it doesn't have that line okay this link and then start drawing on that surface these are basically curve brush and which is like you can create it very easily slightly click and drag so it basically snaps over the surface one more uh, let's sound that loose strand So once you draw this, now I have to uh, like create this entire strap. Strap. Uh, did I click anywhere? Click on surface. That line will go. Deselect. Undo. Oh. Now you have this thing selected. Click on the surface. It will deselect. and only only this part will be selected so what you can do is you can go to uh, modify topology sub tool split you have a uh, split masked uh, point and split unmasked point so you can click any of them So this to become two separate sub tool now. Click on this. <coughs> now you can fix this very easily. So uh, right now you can see this is single geometry. So if you try to move or sculpt, it will overlap everything. But you can fix that very easily. Go to move tool. You have a move topology. Topo. Uh, it basically depends upon your topology and move it. Move it. so if I, i use this brush instead of normal move brush i'll just uh, hide the because it's becoming heavy okay so 
can be disabled no? and then it will go open this move topology so if I want to move something if I click and move it it will you can see it is affecting only this section not here Wherever you can see this red dot snaps, it will move that section. You have to do it very carefully and especially for cloths and all make sure layering is very very layering is very 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 important You have to be really careful. Now oh, this is and uh, what I have to do is I have to put this thing inside like this That fold I will create later while sculpting.
should go inside and inside like this and outside from this is slightly align it nicely control D control D two times subdivision so it becomes like smooth and then you can just um, or go and start sculpting on that three times subdivision B C D reduce the brush size and you have to be really careful what you are sculpting Bit. so like uh, this like uh, create all the elements one by one slowly this finger oh, I have created one side so I just uh, replace this and then symmetry it so it like slowly this, you can see this character will come uh, like, uh, will create each and every part so try this thing out and practice like this is something I'm saying for the first day like every day you have to practice and like do uh, do it otherwise it will be very difficult to fin finish this thing okay let's start attendance is here, Anirudh is here, but well, Anirudh is not here today, Anirudh is not here, Anshuman is here, then Ashwin, Ashwin is yes, yes, here, Nitin, um, yes present, Dilip present, Guruhit not present, uh, Rajaji Rakesh, uh, Rahul uh, is here, Nitin Kishore is here, Shiva, 
Yes, present. Puneet. What happened to Puneet? Okay, Rajveer is also here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Gruhit. Okay, Gruhit here. Okay. And uh, Rilmansam is also here. Sonam. Sir. Sonam also here. Shri Hari not here. Sujindra not here. Okay, very nice. One, two, three, and four. And practice this and today is Wednesday, submission day. Make your submissions. Make your sub make your submissions. Basic block out. Blocking is fine. So uh, uh, block out a uh, character and submit uh, submit that. So uh, until unless I'll see those files, I cannot like understand like uh, if you need any help or not or anything uh, like uh, any specific uh, confusion anything. So based on that, we'll discuss things and like if if I need to slow down and slow down if I if you need clarity like suppose you want more clarity on uh, those eyes, lips, nose thing, we can do that. So at least block it out. So uh, detailing will be later. So at least block this uh, block this character. So we'll uh, work on it. Huh? Tomorrow class. Tomorrow. Yeah. Tomo okay. Ha. Huh, one more thing. Tomorrow Thursday, right? Uh, tomorrow, uh, 11 o'clock, uh, this class is, uh, is, this time class is not possible because I have a webinar. So, uh, most probably we'll have this class around uh, 2 or 3 o'clock. I'll send you a mail. I'll, I'll check this schedule, like uh, what, uh, which class I have when. Based on that, I'll send you the mail. So, uh, like 11 o'clock classes, uh, at that time I have a webinar, so I, I won't be able to conduct this class. So, later we'll do this. So, okay. around 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock, right? So, I'll send you a mail, all of you. Okay. 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 Okay.